Hello. Let's see. Just waiting on some people. I got uh, two cool stories. I got Mark Twain's Concerning the American Language. It's a little short story. And the chickadee. Hey, how are you, Armando? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fine. Thanks. Great. Are you doing this all day? Trying to learn English? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Oh, that's really good, man. That's how you stay on top of the game, right? <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, so I guess we're going to practice some reading. I got uh, two really good stories. How's your reading, by the way? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit. Um, let's see. I got a really... There are two American authors. One is uh, John... or I'm sorry, Edgar Rice... Uh, Edgar Rice uh, Burroughs, and then I have Mark Twain. Oh, okay. Have you heard of any of them? How are you, Melissa? Hi, thanks. And you? Oh, dandy. It's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. Oh. Right on. Cool. Yeah, so I, I guess we could uh, wait, you know, one more minute. Oh, yes. okay. So we could wait for uh, maybe a couple of other people coming in. Okay. Um, no but yeah, um, the Mark Twain uh, story is, uh, the title is called Concerning the American Language. Who? Mark Twain. Oh. Have you heard of Mark Twain? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a really famous American author. He's oh, a very famous nice. American author. And uh, he was, uh, he always made fun of everyone around him. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so he's he's a, he's he's a lot of fun to write, read, and then uh, the second one is Edgar Rice Burroughs, and he used to write for uh, pulp uh, pulp magazines. Pulp. Pulp magazines. They used to. There were the magazines that came before comic books. Comic right. Books. You know comic books. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, revistas cómicas. Oh. Yeah, so... No. <laughs> Burroughs wrote before those, right? So uh, he has a... He, the title of that one is called uh, uh, The Chickadee. <laughs> chickadee. What is uh, Chickadee? Chickadee is... Uh, you'll find out. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Why would, why would I want to spoil it for you? <laughs> uh, so I, I guess uh, I guess we waited long enough. Any people that come in, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna read these short stories, right? Ah, here we go. There's more people coming in. Oh, another Melissa. Oh yeah. Hi, Melissa. Can you hear me, Melissa? Hi. Yes, I can. Yay. Very cool. Where are you from, Elisa? Namesake. How are uh, you? <laughs> Argentina. Nice. Hi, I can. How are I'm you, Elisa. Thiago? Uh, I'm fine. Fine, thanks. And you? Oh, pretty good. And yourself? Fine. Great. How are you, Juan? Hi, hi, everybody. Hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Very cool. So yeah, um, since uh, most people are in already, um, basically I have two really good stories that we're gonna all read together. Uh, First one is uh, Mark Twain's short story of uh, con the title is uh, Concerning the American Language. It's pretty funny. And uh, the second uh, author is Edgar Rice Burroughs, and he wrote The Chickadee. The <laughs> Chickadee. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. <laughs> right? <laughs> so 
uh, we're gonna have a little fun with this. Uh, oh, okay. someone else came in. Uh, out of this. Can you hear me? Out of this. Quanto te des? Senor Lima. All right. Oh, there you go. He's typing. Yeah. All right. Bueno. Nice to have you aboard. All right. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put sentences for all of you to read. So first of all, I'm going to... Oh, your mic is not working? All right. Hi, Kevin. Hi, T-shirt. How are you? Pretty good, and yourself? I'm the one that let you into the group, actually. <laughs> All right, so the, first, the title of the first uh, short story is Concerning the American Language, right? Okay. By Juan Wayne. There's a lot of background noise. Uh, we're coming from somebody. Oh. Yes, there's a background sound that's coming from you. Is that is the TV on? Is the TV on? No, my mom is sick. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but, uh, okay, so let's just, uh, let's get started. We're st we'll start with, uh, let's see. Alright, so let's get started. All right, so let's start with Armando, okay? Armando, <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the first uh, couple of sentences here. Okay. Um, there was... Oh. What? Can you start with the title, please? Ah, okay. Concerning the American Language by Mark Twain. There was an Englishman in our compartment and he oh it's hard <laughs> he compliment me on oh, I don't understand on on what uh -huh. but you will never guess he complied me on my English oh it's hard <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, what did it, did you understand what he was saying um just a few words Okay. Which, which ones did you have problems with? Did you have problems with compartment? Yes. All right. Uh, so he's talking about a compartment, right? So what's a, does anybody else know what a compartment is in the class? No? Okay, cool. A compartment uh, refers to just uh, a room, right? A room of some kind, uh, a place to store something, right? Okay. Like a closet, right? So that's a that's a compartment or a box, right? Where you put jewelry, that could be a compartment. How about complimented? Mm. You understand uh, complimented? He used it twice. Complimented. Yago. Complimented. Me complimento. See, exactly. You, you normally use it with girls. <laughs> well, Tiago has a lot of experience using it with girls. That's good. <laughs> no, that's great. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. So, a compliment. Yeah, it's something uh, that's something that's uh, that goes with something else, right? So, knowing that, does the sentence make better sense now? Hmm. But but what means uh, me on on what what ah well okay so the story is there was an Englishman in our compartment and he complimented me 
on on what? So it's a figure of speech, right? Mm. But you would never guess he complimented me on my English, right? So Mark mm. Twain is in London. He's in England, and he's uh, he's discussing the British guy who also speaks English complimented him on his English. So <laughs> okay. Right. Let's read on. All right. Alright, so how did this? You hear me? How do you pronounce his name? How did this? Oh, you don't have a mic, I see. Okay. Uh, if it's all right, what are this? If you have any questions about the sentences, you just let me know, okay? okay. I hope he knows. All right, Juan. Juan? All right, he's on the phone. Oh. <laughs> all right, Kevin. You want to take it? You want to take up the next uh, sentence? Okay. There you go, Kevin. I can hear you good. You don't you don't read too good? If you want, I can read it for you if you want. Is it text? Yeah. It's not a test. It's just reading uh, the chat, that's all. You want that I, I read the text, yeah? Mm -hmm. I understand so good. Alright, well we'll see where you're at. I'll help you along. Excuse me? <laughs> I will help you along. Oh, hi, Juardes. Juardes. Uh, it's in the chat. On the upper left, there's a little button, chat. It's in the chat box. Chat box. I need to improve my English. I don't understand so good. <laughs> en el rincón aquí arribita de la izquierda de la pantalla ahí hay un botón ah, que dice chat. Ah, yeah. Tú has y ahí puedes ver. Alright, there. Okay. Leo, read it. Yeah, that's yes. Okay. He said he said Americans in general did did not speak the English language <laughs> as correctly as I did. I said I was obliged mm -hmm. to him for his compliment. Signs. I knew he meant he made it for one, but that mm -hmm. I was not fairly and entitled it entitled to it. Mm -hmm. entitled to it. Mm -hmm. For I didn't speak English at all. Only I spoke American. <laughs> all right, good. That was very good. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you had perfect pronunciation, Kevin. You know, yes. like. Uh, so, did you understand what you read? Yes. Something. <laughs> did you understand what you read? So, Something. did you understand uh, any of the vocabulary or anyone else? Did you guys not understand a word or uh, yes. something in the sentence? No, I understand. Yes, understand. You understood? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Armando. What means... Um, I knew he meant it for one. Minute for minute for one. Let me see where you're looking at. He said Americans in general do not speak the English language correctly. That I said I was blessed to compliment since I knew he meant it. Ah, meant that, it for uh -huh. ah, okay, okay. Uh, it's a, basically it's a figure of speech again, right? So he meant it for one. So he Basically, the Englishman, right, the guy from England, uh, said that his English, Mark Twain's English, was good, right? But he only meant it for him, not all of Americans. Because the oh, Englishman okay. says that all the Americans don't know how to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> right? So it's, it's, uh, it's the irony, right? Yes. <laughs> so that's funny, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Anyone else? Tiago? Hello. How's it going? I'm, I'm fine. 
<laughs> was there anything in the in that uh in those two sentences that you didn't understand? Or is actually one sentence? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I understood everything. Nice, very good. All right, so everybody knows what obliged means. What? The word obliged. I am yeah. forced forced to do something, right? Yeah. Not forced, but it's nice to do something, right? Yeah, you're mm. forced to do something, for sure. Oh, good. Wow, you guys have really good vocabulary already. All right. Cool. Okay, let's move on to the next one, then. All right, the next one. We're going to pick up the pace a little bit, all right? What means fairly? Ah, fairly in the... Uh, Fairly mean uh, general, right? In that context, right? Mm. So it's a general term, right? So uh, fairly red, you know? Fairly long, right? Uh, fairly small, right? Okay. You get me? Is fairly? Yes, I yeah, understand. Fairly. Yeah. Uh, he fairly knows English, you know? Okay. Oh, he barely knows Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can use okay. it in type of those contexts. It's a, it's a way of speaking, right? Okay. Yeah. So, barely. Barely. <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference uh, between fairly and several? Mm. Fairly and what? And several. Several. You want to type it in the chat? Yeah, yeah well, sure. Thank you. Just so that everybody in the class knows. Several? Okay. And, uh, several, fairly? yeah. And what? I'm sorry. Mm, fairly. fairly. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. The what difference is the difference? Both of those? Different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, several is numerical, right? Mm. But you're talking about a number, right? So several means, you know, uh, six, seven, eight, right? A round right. number, right? It's, a, it's something numerical. Fairly is something general. So I fairly, oh. you get me? So uh, I fairly know English grammar, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, Teacher. Yeah. Go ahead, then Melissa. We can use fairly for something general or only several. No, no, no. Several is something uh, numerical, right? So I have oh. several pens, right? I have several pens. American. I don't have fairly pens. That doesn't make any sense, right? When you pluralize a noun like that, that means it's, uh, you know, you're talking about more than one yeah. pen. Fairly means general term, right? Okay. All right. Thanks. So it's a general term. Several is a numerical term, right? Mm -hmm. is, that, uh, is that clear? You are almost sure of something, right? Yeah, like uh, fairly. Yeah, definitely. You're back with us, uh, Juan. <laughs> what? You're back with us. <laughs> You're on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> what does right? "bad" cost me? Ah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Bad cost. De vuelta con ustedes. Ah. Okay, thank you. All right, so the next person uh, will be Melissa. You're up. Unless uh, the other Melissa. Me or the other Melissa? <laughs> the plural Melissa. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, let's go with Espeche. 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 Uh, do you have a uh, uh, mic? I think. Uh, I have problems with my mic, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Let me know if you don't uh, catch on to something, okay, Specha? Specha. I mean, uh, sure. Okay, cool. All right, Melissa, the other Melissa. Okay. Pedrosa. All right. You want to give this a try? Yeah. Okay. Hello, and say it. Say it. What's this distinction? 
without a difference. I said no. The difference was not prodigious, but still it was considerable. We fell into friendly dispute over the matter. I put my case as we lost, I called and I said. Good. All right. That's, that was great. All right. Did everybody get the get the diff? Did everybody understand what was said? Mm. Feel free, Kevin. Feel free, Armando, to jump in and uh, or Tiago. Did you understand all that? I'm yeah, ready. Oh, you're yeah. reading. Yeah, go yeah. ahead and reread it for sure. Wait, what is Phil? Phil? Fell? Fell? It's fell. What is the pronunciation? Fell or fear? Fell. It's fell. A uh, fell? Fell. Right. We F E L L. Right. Uh -huh. Fell is a, I fell. fell to the ground. Right. So it's the past tense of fall. Right. Oh. Fall. Um. Cool. How about prodigious? Does anybody know what prodigious means? Prodigious. Go ahead, Juan. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's when your mind is open and you could understand easily. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd, I'd buy that. Yeah, totally. I, I'd totally buy that answer. Yeah. Good job, Juan. Definitely. Yeah, I, I, I'd totally buy that. It's a. Uh, to, to be a, a little bit more exact, it's a, yeah, you know, it's a great in extent, mm -hmm. size, or degree. It's a remarkable. It's a unnatural, abnormal, right? So it, it, it can mean stupendous, enormous, marvelous, wonderful, you know? It's just a, pro, it's a prodigious, uh, yeah, it's very, it enhances a noun, right? Okay. It enhances a noun, right? Can you call it? Yeah. Can you hear me? Ah, yes, I can. How are you, Hardes? I'm sorry, how do you pronounce your name? My name is Hardes. What is it? Nicholas, can you hear me? I can hear you, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Do you want to do you want a chance at reading part of this? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Definitely. I'll put something up for you to read. Uh, let me just wait for Espeche. She's typing something in. While I uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you something long to read. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You got a lot. You got a lot of background noise over there. What is to put my case? Okay, so as Espeche is okay. asking us, uh, I put my case as well. Ah, okay. So, uh, what is to put my case? It's a it's a way of speaking, right? So it's yeah. more or less a type of idiom. Go ahead, Tiago. You want to explain it? I think the when he said put his opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does everybody agree with that? Totally. I, I would totally agree with that, Tiago. Because I bet you also agrees with you. He likes it. Great. Okay. Are you ready, uh, Hardes? Yeah. Right on. All right. Read away. The language war. No. Sorry. I'm beginning no, no, again. Good. The language war identical several generations ago. But our conditions and the spread of our people far the to the south and far to the west have made many alterations in our pronunciation and have introduced new words among us and changed the meaning of men old ones. English people talk through their notes. We do not. We 
say no. English people say no. We say cow. The oh, we, I don't know. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. The Briton says cow. Cow. Stops, right? Very okay. good. Right, thank you. Do you understand okay. what you read out of this? Or do you have to read it again? Sorry. I. You have very good pronunciation, by the way, how this. Did everybody else understand what was said? What was read by uh, how this? Real. What? What is spread means? So. Spread? Spread, yeah. yeah. Spread? What is spread? Yeah, spread is, uh, that means it, uh, it's scattered, right? It went all over, right? Okay. So, so like, uh, when there's a flood, water spreads all over the countryside, right? When it floods. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. Mm, I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. yeah there, there is a, a lot of noise. Yeah, here. Uh, out of this, I'm gonna mute you, okay? You have a lot of background noise, okay? But just keep on coming, all right? There you go. Is that better? Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Yes. Uh, so, uh, spread is like uh, dispersion, right? So when uh, when uh, a tomato when a tomato uh, mm. Hey, how to this? I'm gonna mute you, okay? Because there's a lot of background noise coming for you, okay? All right. So spread is like uh, is propagate. like your spread. What was that? It's like a propagate. Yeah, definitely propagate. Um, another way is uh, yeah, propagate is a good one. Another one is uh, to unfurl, stretch out. Um, there's also a movie called Spread. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. uh, a spread could also mean uh, betting, like you're betting money. So you're betting on the points, right? On how, the gap between points. So uh, spread could also, but spread in this context means uh, uh, propagate, right? So it just spread. It just, uh, yeah. It's a diaspora almost, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. In this context, do, do you guys understand or not really? Yes. Okay. But but uh, why uh, the author writes Britain? Oh, yeah. Uh, because uh, in uh, in uh, England, England is part of Great Britain, right? Yes. And during, and during the Roman times, English people were known as Britons. Oh, okay. Right? So it's a very old, old name for the people of England, right? Grand Britain. Out of this, I'm sorry, man. I oh, got to mute you, man. Uh, Nicholas. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a question about it. A monk. A monk. Uh, and uh, between, wow. how can I use this one uh, among and between? Because I think it is a, a similar means. Yeah. Among is uh, something that is uh, that is located around other people, right? So among. So you want to use among and between? Is that it? Mm -hmm. So among is like surrounded, right? Ah, it's like surrounded. Okay. Yes. Right? Look, right now? Okay, someone's causing a lot of background noise. Alright, yeah, Kevin, is. I'm going to mute you, okay? Cool. Alright, so among is like we're among students right now, right? Mm hmm. Right? Yeah, so all of us, it's what you surround yourself with, right? It, it's the people, it's the things. Uh, I am among books. I am among uh, 
I'm among my dogs. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, and you understand that? Ah, I'll get to that in a second. Yeah, right and uh, how about between? You wanted to, me to talk about between? Between? Yes. Yeah, okay. So basically, you want to know when to use between, right? Is that right, Tiago? So uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Nicholas, yeah. because I'm I'm writing my write down in my notebook. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you repeat it again? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So uh, which one do you want me to repeat? Among or between? Oh no, no, no. I understood everything. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just uh, but uh, between I know. Yeah. Oh, okay, between yeah. I know. But uh, I, I, I had a, 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 a question about among because it, it's a, it's a, like a, a, the means is like a, a between. Then oh, I, I see. I you had a question. I see. Cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Now Esvetia is asking. English people talk through their noses. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, you know how British people talk with their accent, yeah. right? Oh, Reginald. <laughs> you know, like they, they talk through their nose, so it's it's a it's a way of um, poking fun. Another water? English. I'm sorry. Uh, water. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, water, yeah, yeah. water. <laughs> uh, water, water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Reg Reginald, I. Just, you know, and then you just kind of go. So that's what it means yeah. when you. Uh, that's what that's what uh, Mark Twain means when he says English people uh, talk through their noses, right? Yeah. So they talk okay. with that accent, right? They talk with that. Right. Thing, right. You know, just like the Spaniards talk with that lisp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing with the British, right? Yes. <laughs> you know, they talk with their accent. So Americans say that they talk through their noses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a funny way of uh, pointing uh, pointing out uh, a British person, right? <laughs> right. All right. So now, now we're talking about here. I'm gonna read this one real quick, okay? This is the British guy talking, okay? okay? All right. Let me see. Where are we? Okay. So this is the British guy talking. I'm just going to say this real quick. Oh, come. That is pure Yankee. Everybody knows that. Right? <laughs> so that would be totally British, right? So that's what he's saying about what Mark Twain just said uh, when uh, when uh, this read it, right? So now, going on to what Mark Twain, he's going to expand on what he just said, right? So here we go. And uh, we left off on how this. Let's see, is Juan there? Juan? Ah, Tiago's. Uh, okay, how did this left? Bring something from Australia. Okay. <laughs> is uh, Jose there? Jose Dolores? Jose, are you there? Hola, Chris, ¿qué más? Oh, my gosh. All right. So this one's a long one. And it's oh. Tiago. This one's a really long one. This is what Mark Twain has to answer, uh, is going to answer. Oh, okay. All right, Tiago, it's your turn to, uh, to, to read English. Can you see? Let me see. Oh, nice. Yeah, I do see. Yeah, the an Aussie bloke. <laughs> I'm pleased. What does that say? Uh, I've seen there. Yeah. Uh, I can only read the title. I, the oh, other. I, 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 I'm reading for you. Uh, bug it off, all your. Uh, there is a lot of an Aussie bloke. <laughs> this is a very interesting because in the uh, the, the rich and uh, 
in Australia to like a, a bugger off. Piece it again. Uh -huh. Drink cannot <laughs> move. Yeah, piece it again. I don't know. Good day, mate. Have a go, Yagi. You know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's, it's, not, it's not English. It's Australian. Yeah. I have no idea. It's it's a foreign language to me. It's like it's like Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. But I I have a go. Uh, have a go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Muggy. Uh huh. Muggy. Uh, it mean. Would you? Would you like? I have to go your mug. Try. It means would you like a try? Wow, that is not Australian. <laughs> it's not even it's English. Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's totally English. Yeah. All right, Tiago. Let's get back to the to the uh, story. Do you want to read this, Tiago? Okay. Do you want to read this? I come back. I'm sorry, sorry, Nicole. Oh, oh no, 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 go ahead. Yeah, let me just. <laughs> there are those. <laughs> oh wow, there's so much. All right, Tiago, go ahead. Okay. Yes, it is pure Yankee. That that is true. One cannot hear it in America outside of the little corner called. New England, which is Yankee land, the English themselves blended it there 250 years ago, and there it remains. It has never spread, but England talks throughout her nose yet. The Londoner and the backwoods New England pronounce it nose and call. I like, I like it, I like it, I and like. then the Brit, yeah, I like, I like, mm -hmm. and the and then the Briton and Consulis satirizes himself by making fun of the Yankees' pronunciation. Very good, cool. Uh, I see Armando's having difficulty grasping. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah, Armando's is like, oh my god, I gotta read this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let me know what you guys know, what you guys didn't know. Uh, you want me to break it down sentence by sentence? Should we do that? Yeah, Armando's not here. <laughs> yes, please. All right, so uh, let's yeah, read it again. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Read it to yourself if you want. Uh, everyone, if you guys want, read it to yourself. I'll read it again in English, okay? Mm -hmm. What is remained? Um, remains. Where do you see? Ah, okay. There remains. Uh, remains is uh, basically it stays, right? It 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 remain it remains. Uh, it's uh it stayed, right? So that means it's not going anywhere, right? It's what's left over, right? It hasn't been taken away. Um. Uh. You know, it, it's uh, it's left behind, right? Does that make sense? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> the word remains. You didn't get it, Armando, or are you still reading it? Do you want me to reread it real quick? Uh, yes, I read, it, but okay. I don't. It's, it's you didn't understand. <laughs> okay, let's take it sentence by sentence. That's all right. I'm okay. back. Awesome. Hard this. All right, okay. so I'm going to reread it, and uh, I'm going to reread it sentence by sentence, okay? Okay. Yes, okay. it is pure Yankee. That is true. Right? So Yankee is like yeah. uh, identity, right? So Mark Twain identifies himself as a Yankee. Yankee. Yankee, right? okay. So one cannot hear it in America outside of the little corner called New England, which is okay. Yankee land. Turn it themselves planted it there 250 years ago and there it remains it has never spread but Are then you? let's talk oh. so did you understand that does everybody understand that part of the sentence 
Yes. Yeah? No, just tell me if you guys don't. I mean, best that you let me know now. Can I continue? Right? So, <laughs> New England? You guys know where New England is? Yeah. But I'm with Charles. Who? New there? England is in the United States. What? Oh, how are this? Uh, read it to yourself, all right? I'm rereading it, and I'm rereading it sentence by sentence, all right? Okay. All right. All right, so you want me to go on to the next sentence? I think it's more, I think more <laughs> lovely. I cannot. Then. What? Who is going to read again? I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read it real quick, um, but uh, there's a lot of background noise coming from you, okay? So I'm going to have okay. to mute you. But don't okay. feel bad. Just uh, jump read? in and ask questions on the chat. Cool? All right. Take that as yes. All right. So let's go back to the, to the paragraph. So everybody understood that. Cool. Um, the English themselves planted it there 250 years ago and there it remains, right? So 250 years ago, the English planted it in New England, and it's still there, right? It's still there. Yeah. It has never spread, right? Right. Okay. So that means it's it hasn't uh, yeah. it hasn't expanded anywhere past where it was planted, right? So this goes back to mm -hmm. Tiago's uh, question on what spread means, right? Okay. Definitely. I is everybody on, on board? Yes, me. <laughs> no, no, definitely. I'm here. But. All right. So the next sentence. But England talks through her nose yet. A Londoner and the backwoods New England. Oh, yes, a button. What's up? I'm sorry. No, 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 it's all right. I'm what? sorry. Oh, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I would just to read, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but England talk, talks talks through her no, nose yet. The Londoner and the backwoods New Englander pron pronouncing nose and call alike it. And then the Briton and constantly satirizes himself by making fun of the English pronunciation. Right. So, does everybody know what satirizes means? <laughs> Whoever gets it gets a gets a free dollar. <laughs> I want. <laughs> so satirizes means uh, you. It's like it's criticize. It's like, happening nowadays. Yeah. 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 Totally. <laughs> Ridicule to attack by means of satire, so like a subtle way of uh, of uh, undermining uh, someone's uh, someone's uh, authority, right? So here, the sorry, guy Nicholas. Is that they... Sorry, Nicholas. You you said you said uh, undermine. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Undermine. Yeah, undermine means uh, you're subverting. Right. You know what so no, the, there is a lot. Okay, okay, that's all right. No, so, so, birdie. so this is all new vocabulary for you guys. That's good. Um, basically, it's uh, criticizing, right? So satirizes is like criticizing. Undermine. You like that word, right? One word. One word. Undermine. One word. So undermine is one word. Oh, it's a one word. Okay. Good. Undermine. Yeah, one word. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, what he's talking about there, when he's talking about satirizes, is that he's criticizing the English language. Right? Perfect. All right. See? That's the word, that's does, the word he's using. What does mean undermine? Uh, what does it mean, undermine? That means yeah. uh, you're criticizing. You're, uh, you're, uh, you're, uh, mm, I mean, 
undermine. Uh, now we're getting. Uh, remove it. Remove it. Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. I, you can, a better a better way is uh, subvert, right? Okay. But see, you guys don't know what subvert means either, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, you do. Yeah. Okay. Subvert means. There's a bar what? key. <laughs> Subvert is uh, overthrow, overturn, demolish, undermine, right? It's uh, undermine okay. the power and authority of an established system or institution. So that's subvert, right? But that's the extreme, right? Undermine doesn't get there yet, right? Hmm. This dog is barking. Ah, I, yeah, I know. All right. Armando, are you up? Are you good? Are you understanding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't like anybody getting lost. So just let me know. So the New Englander pronounce "new" and "cow" the same way, right? New. Cool. New <laughs> cow. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right on. New. New in cow. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now he's going to go into explaining no and cow. <laughs> All right, so this is going to get funny. Explain new. It's an, to know, to new. And cow right. is like a, a, a animal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right, Armando, your turn again. Oh. <laughs> there are some words that I don't know how to, to say. That's great. Uh, if you don't know how to say the word, Armando, just mm -hmm. pause and I'll say it for you, okay? Okay. But I just want you to try sounding it out, okay? Okay. Hey, how, do they, <laughs> how many dogs do you have, man? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's all I hear. I'm going to mute you again, okay? How do this? Okay. There's a okay. lot of noise coming from you, okay? Okay. All right. So, Armando, your turn. So just pause and don't don't feel bad to pause. I'll I'll just I'll just come in and uh, help you out, alright? Oh dear. Okay. Um, we argued this point at some length. Nobody won, but no matter. The fact remains. Englishmen say, uh, now, now. <laughs> Now and cow for no and cow, I <laughs> and that is what the rustic inhabitant of a very small section of America's of America does. Awesome! You knew every word, Armando. You didn't need any help. <laughs> okay. You totally knew what you were talking about. But I don't understand. <laughs> 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 All right. There is no fight. <laughs> uh, what no mean length? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you didn't understand what you read. Okay. So basically, uh, Mark Twain and the British guy were arguing, mm -hmm. but they were really arguing about nothing. Right? They were just. Okay. They were just talking. They were just talking. Right? So. There was no real difference between the, what the Englishman was saying and what the rustic inhabitant was saying, right? Okay. In a very right. small section of America, right? And that's all, right? Mm. Yeah, that's about it. It, it was a short. It was a short paragraph. So now it gets a little. Now it gets a little dense. A little dense. <laughs> Alright, so let's see, let's go to, yeah. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, ready? Alright, how did this? This is for you. Don't let the what? dog overpower you. This is for you, okay. man. How many dogs do you have, real quick? I think there is a three or four dogs. Yep. Yeah. How about this? What? Are you there? There are. Yeah. How many dogs do you have? Okay. We. It, uh, now turn to reading. 
How many? All right, never mind. Here, just read. You want to just read that? Okay, you comfort your upper New England too. And there it remains. It has not traveled out of the narrow limit of those six little states in all these 250 years. All England uses new. Who does not use it? True. All right, how did this? I'm going to have to mute you, man. That dog is really annoying. All right. So, okay, so did everybody understand what that sentence was saying? Does anybody need me to reread it? Your silence tells me yes. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to reread it again. All right. You conferred your A upon New England, too, and there it remains. It has not mm -hmm. traveled out of the narrow limits of those little states in all those in all these two hundred and fifty years. All England uses. <laughs> hey, how did this? What? You, you, have, you, you have a lot of background noise, man. Okay, okay, yeah, I don't sorry. Know you're muting me either. So, okay. yeah. So I'm going to mute you again because you're very noisy. All right. All right. So, okay. All right. So, let, let's go on. So, all England uses. All England uses it. New England's small population, say four millions, use it, but we have 45 millions who do not use it, right? So only, he, what Mark Twain is talking about here in the sentence is that only a small percentage of the people in New England actually talk the way he's describing. So it's a dialect, right? So people right. In, in Sonora speak differently from people from the Yucatan, right? Or people from the F speak differently from people in Colombia, right? They're different dialects. So that's what he's talking about here in the United States. There are different dialects. Mm -hmm. So the English they speak in New England is very different from the English they speak in Florida. Mm -hmm. Right? It's very different. Okay. And that's very yeah. true. What was that? Go ahead. Any, any questions or anything? You want me to keep on going? Uh, I don't have a... Your silence says guess again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, let's see. I think this this uh, text is very hard. Oh, really? I, uh, yes. I have a headache. Oh, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> See, that's what I wanted to know. <laughs> does everybody feel the same way Armando does? <laughs> no, no, for sure. Let me know. We can move on to an easier... I have an easier text here. I mean, we have six more minutes. <laughs> I mean, it's about to get fun and easier to understand. But uh, if you want, we could go to the chickadee. I mean, we have six more minutes left. Here, why don't we do one more? How's that? All right, here, how about, I want it to be, uh, ah, well, I mean, we have six minutes, really. I mean, I just, you waited You waited all the way until the end of class, Armando, really? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I, I think that I, I was, the only person. <laughs> no, if you were the only person, you should have said something. Yeah, Melissa. We are beginners. You would have got more people. You would have got more people to back you up. Yeah. Next time, let me know. I had an, I, I, the other story was a lot easier than this one. Okay. Yeah. So next time, just let me know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
right? So do you guys want me to read this one? <laughs> this one's a little... This one is a little... <laughs> I remember reading. <laughs> uh, Armando, everybody wants you to read it. It is not no. really... You can really know. <laughs> Tiago, Tiago has seen the light. <laughs> yeah, Tiago has seen the light. So yeah, this it gets a little harder now. So this is the other let, one. Let me try. Yeah, go ahead, Tiago. Okay. You say guys guys of one ta. One ta. So does in New England at least New England says glass. America at large for Faulkner's the A and says glass of water. These sounds of are pleasanter uh, yeah. <laughs> than yours. You may think they are not right. Well, I'm English, they're not right. But American, they are, you say, flesh, flesh, oh my god. And <laughs> Bosket, and Bosket, <laughs> and Jack S. <laughs> Yeah, is it like a f movie? <laughs> uh, we say flash, basket, jackass, sounds the A, as it is in, tello, fellow, and so on. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. What all these mean? Tiago speaks like an Englishman. So, so basically, <laughs> you're saying that uh, Americans speak a pleasanter form of English. Pleasanter is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, where are you from? Unless you're from, I'm New from Brazil. Unless you're from Florida. Unless you're from what? Florida. Yeah. Brazil. Florida. Huh? He says water, I... like an English. Water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> <That was> nice. <laughs> so here, he's uh, describing the differences between English from England and yeah. English from America, right? So in uh, England, they pronounce things flashk and basket and jackass. But in England, they say you know things normally: flask, basket, basket. Yeah. Right? Oh, you guys. Uh, <laughs> you guys are brains are melting, aren't they? <laughs> what What is glass? 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 glass. Yeah, yeah. Glass is a. Uh, is um like uh oh gloss is glass gloss gloss right <laughs> glass equals glass yeah gloss. is it similar no no it's just the way the british pronounce it they say gloss, uh, yeah. gloss. right <laughs> they say gloss. okay and right. they can say glass, glass right glass yeah 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 we, we, like i said american english is the best but <laughs> <laughs> this is what Mark Twain is saying that American English is the best. It's better than it's, it's better than British English. That's what he's saying, right? So I'm gonna uh, give you uh, Nicholas. It, it, yeah, I have an, one uh, one last question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and sometimes um, um, uh, I've been listening about uh, I've been listening American and. England or Australian people said uh -huh. uh, uh, when you said something and I under I don't understand about it, I said ah, I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Sometimes I I I listen uh, in uh, England. I said uh, the English the England person the uh -huh. England that uh, said tears. It is um. normally tears and sorry. <laughs> Oh, we really? apologize. Oh, you well, yeah. Uh, you understand it's, me? It's, it's, it's very proper of them, right? It's very proper English. It's very formal English, uh, right? So depending, um, yeah. right? So the British, the British think they invented the language, right? So they they want to yeah. speak it as best they can. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Australians don't care <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, it's okay, but. Um, I thought I thought this uh, this one is different because in the England and American, yes, you know, but it's a it's a, because the rules, you know, because the, it's coming of the rooms from the rules of the English, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So if you guys, no, I completely agree with you, Tiago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to read the rest of the story, here it is. It's on this. <laughs>